Well, up till now this is the most complicated design of shared space I know about. It's a crossing where 22,000 cars daily pass by and on the other hand it's the entrance to the shopping center and it's the entrance to the theater. So a very strong functions for the human interaction and an enormous amount of traffic and we also have the idea that in the future there even might be more traffic on this place. So for the amount of traffic we absolutely needed a roundabout. But for spatial quality, a roundabout is something horrible. And to find a solution, we try to make a roundabout that's not dominant. It's just part of the square we built. So when you drive on the roundabout, you feel part of the square. So the square is deciding what type of behavior you show. And actually, it works wonderful because the capacity of the roundabout is more than we ever had thought about because many, many bicycles are crossing by and disturbing normally the flow of traffic. But because people are interacting with each other, there is no disturbance of the flow. They negotiate their way around the roundabout, meeting each other, greeting each other. And what you find again is that the whole social attitude of people is being used again. And we find people showing off if you want to go to the left or to the right. People are greeting each other again. So the whole social quality of society pops up again as soon as we change the place. So in that terms, it's quite successful. And we have made some evaluations now where it shows that there is absolutely less accident. We have no queues anymore. And people uh, estimated a very much more quiet and nice place to be. There are only some elderly people think they find it a little bit more difficult to cross. But in practice, we never show or see people waiting or not daring to cross the street. But that's just the idea that people have to get used to the new responsibility that has been given to them in this design. And I think it's the most extreme example of shared space I can show with this amount of traffic in the inner cities. And what's so nice is that with this knowledge, it could be an example for many of the crossings in our bigger cities. I really believe in that.